Hi guys, welcome to Nicole Pepper English. So today I have a tip for you to help you learn your English. TV shows. Now, before you click out of this video because it's old news and everybody says this, um, I have two options, so just hear me out, okay? Which means give me a chance. So, I have two TV shows to suggest to you, and they're both really good for English learners that are at an intermediate or advanced level. And the reason that these two TV shows are really good and why I chose them for you is because they actually show you how natives really speak in real life, and they actually show you our true culture. So I love this because these TV shows are really funny, they're really light, and they do show you how North American culture really is. So I think it's really good when you're learning languages to not only learn the language, but to learn the culture, and it will help you understand the entire thing altogether. So the TV shows are Superstore and Modern Family both of which are on Netflix. I know for sure in Brazil and also in Canada. So Canada and Brazil have these two TV shows. I don't know about other countries, so you'll have to look into that. Um, but both of these TV shows are really good. And uh, my Brazilian husband, um, which Portuguese is his first language, English is not his first language. He started watching Superstore and he's learning so much about our language and our culture at the same time he really likes it and i enjoy watching it too i think it's a really funny show so you have to pay attention to this part because this is the exercise that i'm going to tell you to do so if you have to write this down step one get some sort of recording device and what i mean by that is maybe like a notebook a traditional notebook and a pen uh, I'm a little bit old school, which means I like to do things the traditional way, the old way. Um, so I like to write my things down on paper using a pen. But if you want to do it on your cell phone or a computer, whatever you have, totally fine. It doesn't matter as long as you have something to record with. Okay, so then you're going to choose a TV show. So for these purposes, I'm going to say Superstore. Um, and then what you'll do, go on to your Netflix, make sure you set the subtitles to English. This is important. And what I want you to do is watch five, so five to 10 minutes of an episode. The episodes are about 25 minutes, I think, maybe 30. So they're not too long. But for you to really focus for the entire show and try to figure everything out at once might be a little much. So let's take it one step at a time, okay? So watch the first five to 10 minutes of an episode with the English subtitles. When you see or hear something that you don't quite understand, I want you to record it. Okay, and this is where the English subtitles come in because you might not be able to put together all of the words separately to write it down yourself. You might need the assistance of the subtitles to really see exactly what they're saying. So write that down according to the subtitles, okay, and continue to do that for five or ten minutes anytime you encounter. A situation like this okay now after that I want you to bring that list to your native English teacher it's very very important that they're native guys because we can help you explain the full picture of every expression we have or slang phrasal verbs anything like that now you're gonna know that something is an expression or a phrasal verb or an idiom because you understand the words individually by themselves, but when you put them together, 
it doesn't make sense anymore. Okay, so what do I mean by your native English teacher and why it's important, why uh, we can explain everything about this expression or the verb or idiom? It's so important because in English, expressions, phrasal verbs, and idioms can have different meanings in different contexts. And also, there could be situations where it's appropriate to use them, inappropriate to use them. There might be particular people you can use them with. Others are not appropriate to use them with. Maybe only certain genders or demographics can use those. So you don't want to get in a situation where you think you know because you Googled it and you didn't get the full picture of this expression, okay? It's very important because if you try to use this with a native and you use it inappropriately, it could offend somebody. So this is why you need to bring it to a native so that they can explain the full picture of this expression or idiom, phrasal verb, slang, okay? Okay, you guys, so let's go. I have three examples and I'm going to use the TV show Superstore. So to follow are going to be some clips, some scenes out of this TV show with expressions or idioms, and then I'm going to explain them to you. So let's do. Very convincing. What do you mean, dear? What I mean, dear, is if you just stayed in pharmacy, I wouldn't have batted an eye. But no one your age is throwing their money away on a new bed. I mean. Let's be honest, how many years of sleeping do you even have left? <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. Well, I'll tell you what's happening. Your cover's been blown, sweetheart. Okay, so in the first clip, Dina says, I wouldn't have batted an eye. I wouldn't have batted an eye. And this is appropriate to use anywhere. There's nothing rude about it, so you guys don't have to worry. All it means is that there's no emotion, which would be like worry, surprise, fear. So there's no reason to be afraid or anything. No surprise, no reason to worry. It can also mean to remain calm. I would bat it an eye. So there's nothing unusual about this situation. That's all it means. Like I wouldn't bat it an eye. It didn't catch my attention. There was nothing weird about it, so I didn't give it any attention. That's all it means. So when she approaches this lady and she says, I wouldn't have batted an eye, it means I wouldn't have even noticed unless you did, until you did this, sorry, until you did this. So I wouldn't have even noticed, but then you did this. I wouldn't have batted an eye, but then you did this, so I noticed. Ma'am, I have the arm strength of a chimp, but there is just too much real estate back here. I'd have to dislocate your shoulder. Do it. Okay. But you'll have to teach one of your bridesmaids to do this on the day. So, in the next clip, the second clip, uh, Dina says, there's too much real estate back here. And this is actually really funny. <laughs> it's a really funny show. I love this show, guys. It's so funny. Um, so, let's let's take it back. Real estate means like a real estate agent. Think about a real estate agent. So those people that show you properties, land, houses, apartments that are either for sale or for rent. Those agents, those people that, you know, open the door for you and are like, you know, we have three bedrooms, two bathrooms, this is available. That's a real estate agent. So there's too much real estate back here means there's too much room or property available. There's too much room here available. Too much real estate, too much up for sale or for rent kind of thing. There's a lot of space here. So in this particular scene, it's a little bit rude, but I do believe that Dina said this in one of the most polite ways 
possible? Like it's kind of in the middle. So this isn't always a bad thing to say. This can be used for many different situations um, with anyone. But in this context, she's basically saying, you're a little too big back here. So it's not terrible that she said that. She could have said, you're just too fat. You know, she could have been rude and said that. But no, she decided to be a little more gentle and say, there's a, there's a lot of real estate here. Just a lot of space, okay? And I can't close your dress. <laughs> so it's, it's okay. It's okay to say, I guess, in this context, um, could it just depends on who you're saying it to like if they are if they have thick skin or not so to say thick skin means you're tough emotionally you can't you're emotionally strong if you have thick skin so if someone has thick skin they won't take offense to this but if someone is sensitive like myself I might. so yeah it really depends but there's too much real estate that is a common expression, you guys. But like I said, you can say it with whoever. It's not inappropriate at all. So go ahead. Go nuts. If you're hungry, that can of beans is up for grabs. But uh, not this one. Okay. So for the third and last clip, this one is super easy. And again, super common. All three of these are used all the time. So you'll hear them if you're speaking to a native over time. Anyway, up for grabs. So in this clip, Dina says that the beans are up for grabs. Oh no, she says that one of the cans of beans are up for grabs, which just means it's available. It's there for the taking. You can take these beans, you can have these beans. So it's up for grabs to grab something is another way to say to take, but you're physically grabbing an object. So you're physically taking an object. Um, so up for grabs, go ahead, you can have them. Very common, again, you can say this to anyone, it's not offensive in any way ever, it's not formal, it's not informal. You could say this in any situation. All three of these that I just showed you today, you can say in any situation. Okay, there you have it. So that's my suggestion for you, that's my tip, that's your homework. So what I think you should do, I think you should watch Superstore. Modern Family is really good, but Superstore is just a little more new um, and it's really fun and you really get a sense of the North American culture. So once you've done this exercise, when you're practicing your English, where you can integrate these into your speech, maybe practice them with your friends. I don't know, but I think you're gonna start to notice them more and more either in movies, TV shows, or even with your native English speaking friends. I really hope that you find this helpful. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe because I'll be posting little tips and tricks uh, regularly. So thank you for staying to the end of the video guys and I hope you have a wonderful day.